welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So this week we have got something pretty major happening. So we have got our big sliding doors by Ultraline being fitted and I honestly cannot wait for that. We're also getting the two back doors fitted as well but similarly with the um glass on the bay windows the glass on those doors have taken a little bit longer so that's actually going to be fitted next week but it's fine because we're still going to get the frames of the um, doors fitted which means the plaster can then it plaster right up to the frames but also i don't even care about that because our sliding doors are being fitted we're getting the frames we're getting the glass we're getting absolutely everything this last week every time i've gone up to the house i've been feeling like obviously autumn's coming and i've been feeling a bit like the house is feeling a bit chilly. Obviously, it's completely open. Like, we have got the windows, but um, we haven't got a front door and we haven't got the sliding doors. So it's just like a really big through draft. And every time I go up there, I'm like, I say to the like trades over there, I'm like, this house is blinking freezing. So I know a lot of people cannot wait for the doors to be fitted because it just means that working up there is going to be a lot more enjoyable. We're also getting a few things second fixed. So obviously, upstairs is basically finished um and it's like the decorator's been so everything can now be second fixed so the electrician's coming in to finish a few things downstairs and then he is going to jump on upstairs and second fix up there the um plumber is also coming and he might be doing a few second fixes upstairs but he has got the downstairs bathroom to concentrate on first anyway let's get up to the house <laughs> second fix is going on here so as you can see we've had our shower put in so around there it needed some like white tape to um, fit it so we just need to get some black silicon to go around there and then we've got our nice handheld shower spout there and our um, control panels these are from Luso Stone I love them I think they're so so nice my friend's actually got the same ones I think she's got the copper version actually from Luso and yeah, she loves them and she's had them in for quite a long time now and they're just really, really good. In here, we've also had a lot of second fixes when it comes to electric. So we've got our warm up underfloor heating. We're actually the very, very first people to ever have these control panels in the UK. These are brand new to warm up. Um, we've got them for downstairs as well. So we were gonna have black panels, but they were gonna be a little bit bigger and they asked us if we wanted to have these panels instead. Um, we did get the black ones with our order, so they actually said, I said, oh, should I send them back? And they said that we could do a giveaway, but I will tell you more about that in another couple of videos. Maybe next week's video, because that's when we're fitting all the underfloor heating downstairs, but they're very, very snazzy, Wi-Fi and everything, so we can turn the heating up and down on our phone. We just need to, now that all the second fixes are happening, we just need the decorator to come in and kind of like fill these little gaps. We did want to have black um, sort of switches and sockets, but we decided to have white upstairs because we're only going to be the ones upstairs really. So we're having white upstairs and we're going to have black downstairs for the ones that we can see. The boys have got their lights put up so these are the lights from made which i showed you a little while ago and we can position them into different sort of corners of the room yeah. this is chris the plumber <laughs> and he is busy in here today second fixing this bathroom right so our builders have just got our opening ready for ultraline so what we have done here is we have had the builders do a solid base for the doors to go on to so we just poured concrete into here and this is 85 mils below the finished floor level the track from ultraline is actually 75 mil but it just gives you another sort of 10 mil tolerance for going up and down um, to make sure that you do get a flush finish so as you can see on the wall here our builder has marked our um, finished floor level like a meter above our finished floor level this is actually a thousand eighty five mil above that base level that I was talking to you about and that is because like I originally said that is 85 mil below our finished floor level so here we are having underfloor heating 
This is a really thin profile underfloor heating. So we've just laid our underfloor heating and our tile on our solid floor. And then we've allowed an extra 15 mil for adhesive to go down and for like the tile adhesive too, because we're gonna stick the underfloor heating pads to this concrete base just to make sure they don't move and we don't get any cracking in the grouting. And then obviously we're gonna have adhesive underneath our um, tile too, which will go directly onto our underfloor heating mat. So we've allowed the underfloor heating, the 10 mil tile, and then an extra 15 mil for sort of extra adhesive allowance as well. So yeah, this is our opening all done. We've taken away any plasterboard and any other plaster that was on here. So we just chipped that away. So the opening was nice and clear for them to come and fit the tracks on. So as you can see, this is the triple track. This is what we're having so that all our doors can move either way. So um, what Dom has also done here is he has run our DPM on the inside because basically these doors are effectively outside in the wet zone. So we want to make sure that everything inside is gonna be kept in the dry zone. So Dom has like laid our DPM inside so that when the track has then been fitted, he can just cut away any excess DPM here um, to make sure that no water can get inside from the tracks. I also thought I'd just show you that we also have the cavity closer in here as well. Um, so now they're ready to fit the doors. <laughs> can see we've had a little ramp built this is so the ultraline can bring their robot onto here and take the glass through they do have different ways of getting glass in obviously we've got quite a big door opening here this is 1500 wide but they can also take it down the side if you've got side access um, the, the robot they have I showed you before it's quite a wide one but they do have a narrower one or they could just carry it by hand if the access is a little bit tricky so yeah we've got this built here so the robot can go on in and then they can just bring it straight through here and put it into place so they're literally going to start doing this like right now so everything's ready prepped the scaffolding's down and we're ready to install <laughs> has just been installed now so obviously ultraline do offer a service where you can have your frame fitted first and then your glass next like second so sometimes the glass takes a little bit longer to manufacture than the frame does which is why they offer this service so we were actually going to originally have this so that the trades still carry on doing their work so for example if our frames in then the renderer could have come and rendered into the frame so they've got an end point but obviously Obviously our glass was ready at the same time as our frame which is why we're getting it all fitted at once but we definitely would have got the frame done first if the glass hadn't been ready just so everyone else can get on with it let me show you an example of why you might need that done so obviously as you can see this wall has been plastered already but the plasterer couldn't um, plaster the wall around the door because he didn't have the frame to go into but obviously we're having our glass fitted now so just thought i'd show you what the frame looks like with it being in but let's get the glass in now too
Okay, so it's now the next day. Ultraline have gone. When they left last night, it was a little bit like dusky, so I feel like I couldn't show you the doors properly. I'm obviously going to go into like way more detail about these doors in other videos because they are just so cool. They've got so many cool features about them and I can't do them justice in just this one video. So as you can see, because they have an electric locking system, they have a really, really thin profile here. This is a 20 mil sight line, so it's two centimeters. So it's really, really small. I hadn't actually noticed, um, this now that I have seen the ultraline doors and I compare them to other doors you can really see the difference all the other doors have got a much thicker profile here because they have to have a handle there as well to like lock and unlock the door but these ones don't so anyway this is what I mean these doors have so much more to them than I can like do justice in this one video but I just wanted to show you them finished in daylight and show you how amazing the whole opening looks it's made the whole room look so much wider and so much taller as well so it just needs to now have the reveals finished in plasterboard and then the plaster can come and plaster around the reveals as well but yes yeah, so so happy with them i just want to actually say that this is what i was saying last night to chris i said can you imagine i can start to imagine it now he said he couldn't imagine this is what i pictured so i pictured us having a nice dinner here and then it's migrating over to the sofa area imagine it's winter and cold outside fire on nice little like something on telly up there Nice glass of red in our hands, looking out onto our lovely garden. A nice patio as well, not just a bit of rubble. I can see it, guys. It's so close yet so far. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it went up late, but I hope you can understand why I felt like I didn't want to rush it. Um, and I wanted to get the whole installation of the doors into this video too. So next week's video will be on time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't forget it. And I will see you guys then. Bye.